we got some teeth back here behind me. I'm gonna show y'all how I change teeth on my machine. The type that I'm running. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I use to take them off, put them on, how I torque them down, what I put on my bolts, all that. So here we go. My go-to tools when we're doing this, three quarter inch drive ratchet, Milwaukee, half inch drive, the fuel with the 4.0 battery, the big impact and swivels and everything else. And I don't have the right socket on here because I got a six point and those are the 12 points. But anyway, even with the wrong socket, look at that, it goes right up in there. You ain't got all that, that goofy sticking out of here. And even if you put the swivel on it and take this tooth off first by hand, that big impact, it's all in the way and then you're beating it all to death. This just works better. So usually I break them loose with this. Sometimes, sometimes this is enough to break them loose. As far as teeth goes, we're going with a mix of old and new. I'm gonna have to call Derek out, Cutterman 830 here. He's got his hands on the Balatine teeth and and uh, seeing just how good of a product they actually are. I've been running the Balatine teeth since before they come out with the TX2. We've been running TX2 teeth now since, I wanna say 2018, 2019, something like that. I know I've been running Terminator teeth from Balatine for back when they used to look just like this. This is a Nova tooth. These are the only, I've just got these Novas because they're convenient to get. Um, the Nobody around here keeps the Balatine Ballantine, everyone said in stock and uh but nova has also come out with this little wear plug thing right here because all right so the tx2 teeth they have this little square plug right here i say square plug this little rectangular plug whatever you want to call it used to they just come together like what these do you see that little round plug there behind it uh the terminator teeth used to just have just this groove right here and the way we run sandy ground where that where the teeth would come together right here in this V, it would start doing this washing, as you can see right here. And that would carry on onto your disc. Taking these off of my old cutter that is missing some teeth, it actually is missing two teeth pockets, tooth pockets, whatever you wanna call it. And we're, we're going back with the new teeth fully on the old machine. And then this newer machine that has the better disc and everything like that, we're reusing these to help cut cost. Uh, these are still, I mean, these are still really good teeth. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with it. There's a, there's a couple of them that's got a few rounded corners, yeah, but you put the sharper points to the outside and you're still good to go. Uh, and then as far as like putting the new ones on there, you just put one and then go straight across and put the other, you know, you put one on each corner and, and that takes care of that mess. See, so yeah, it seems like... Uh, Ballotine hasn't been uh, shown on TikTok a whole, whole bunch. I guess I just wanted to, you know, make a point here. They've been around for a while. Brady, how long? You you run the Ballotine for me uh, with, with, with Daddy on, da when he, on Daddy's job. I mean, that's been... About six, six seven years ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a... Uh, it, uh, I don't know. It, it ain't, you know... I'm glad Derek got some got some help from Ballotine. The Ballotine come out and did a video on his job and everything like that. But just uh, <laughs> we we've been we've we've been running them, and a lot of people learned about the Ballotine teeth through through uh, through the YouTube channel. So I'm just I'm just kind of busting your balls a little bit there, buddy. So don't get too mad at me. So just to show y'all here, one handed. Just kind of bounce on it a little bit, bust them loose. All right, well, maybe Brady broke my ratchet finally. Oh, I think he broke it finally, sir. That's that new. That's, the that's that new quick ratchet style. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So while we're having technical difficulties on that, you probably have to just get that other ratchet. Um, I use grease on my bolts. I take them out and I dip. You know the last half inch of the bolt 
in the grease. I prefer using Schaefer's as most of you already know. I've tried everything from copper anisees to silver anisees, any anisees I've ever tried and most grease gets hard and it gets compacted in there and it it does not there you go that's a good pig <laughs> anyway so the the 238 grease i have found works better than anything else because it's heat resistant it's molly all that other good stuff everything else i put on there it lets dirt get in it the heat gets to it, it gets hard, it makes the bolts difficult to come back to loose. These some bitches here's birth control type. <clears throat> yeah, I think Mickey put those on yeah. whenever I went and cut them big hardwood logs. I'm gonna worry about having no kids after they <clears throat> <You won't. clears throat> I ain't never seen somebody that thing's gonna whoop him. Mickey's anyway. too fucking big to be putting on teeth. That, that is a little tighter than I like to see my teeth. Uh, so anyway, I use the Shaper's grease just because it does a better job. It stays in there better. Well, this is this is going to be quality entertainment here. Shut up. <laughs> so, anyway, we break them loose with that, and then I'll show y'all the impact going around it. about your impact beating all over this everything just works and i'm not saying this is like the perfect way to do it this is just how i do it because it's the fastest way i've learned to do it so you see here on the bolts the good layer of grease is still on them my phone will focus the last time i put them together i got put together with 238 degrees and I would about guarantee you, if you'd have done that with any type of manises, it would not look like that, that, and they would not come out that easy. And we reuse our bolts. And that's honestly about as tight as I ever put them, is whatever that puts them. I might run around them and just do a quick little snug with the ratchet, but I don't get all monkey tight with my stuff. And, and, my brain said we ain't ever killed nobody yet <laughs> and uh we haven't uh i've never lost a tooth so so just to give you all a comparison this is nova tooth that we're taking off and and, and this is i bet they got probably 500 hours on them the first 50 hours or so was cutting big old hardwood trees i got some video of that on here but that's a that's a pretty big difference in a sharp edge right here you see where it's got a good sharp edge where this is rounded because i know somebody well them's just still good teeth and, and these are carbides, so are these. We all always run carbide down here in this sand we, we work, so. So anyway, uh, got another treat to go show y'all in this video too. Now this one here, y'all gonna really freak out over. The disc is old, this thing's got like 19,000 hours on it. So I keep my newer teeth on this one as I was dating. And every once in a while, I'll rebuild the pockets back up whatnot and it's even missing a tooth it's missing a tooth there and then straight across it's missing another tooth she cuts plenty fine hell i've cut 15 16 loads a day every day with it for many many weeks good old 718 these things are bulletproof not necessarily bulletproof because uh she's been shot twice by deer hunters 